Welcome to Leven Cars. Located in the East Riding of Yorkshire, this vast wetland habitat supports a diverse array of wildlife. However, this biological treasure didn't always exist. This is the story of its creation. The wetland area around Leven Cars has a long history of drainage. Pockets of the wetland wildlife survived in fragments of habitat such as Leven Canal, which runs through the estate and is now designated a Site of Special Scientific Interest, or SSSI. There are further wetland remnants in the surrounding landscape, such as Pulfin Bog and the River Hull Headwaters. The Humber Estuary, internationally important for wetland birds, is also located less than 20 miles to the south. The project began with talks between Natural England, the government's advisory body for the environment, and Albanwise, the agricultural company who owns land at Leven Cars. From our perspective, it was to find the most productive land use of the site. Uh, this is a low-lying, inherently wetland, marsh, former uh, marshland site, and it clearly wants to be very wet and very marshland-like. The project team believed a new wetland at Leven Cars would connect the surrounding wetland fragments, buffer them from environmental degradation, and allow their expansion. The resulting habitat would function as a resilient environmental resource, useful on both a local and landscape scale. The idea is to buffer the site as it currently is and to expand those wetland habitats uh, into, a, into, a, into a greater area. So it's kind of protect the best sites, uh, and make, make the resource bigger, and hopefully that then supports a lot of the wetland species that, that rely on them. The project aimed to put land back into productive use following a period of arable set-aside, while simultaneously creating wetland habitats that would benefit biodiversity, a process aided by support from Natural England's stewardship scheme. A fundamental aim of the project was to ensure no detrimental impacts to the surrounding land use. A feasibility study was conducted to survey the habitat, assess the hydrology, and generally see if such a project was even possible. The results were encouraging, and so it was time for a pilot study. The pilot study aimed to investigate ground and water conditions, and trial using seeds to establish new fen habitat. Important lessons were learned from the study, and with this newfound knowledge, it was time to plan ahead. The estate entered a 10-year stewardship agreement with Natural England. The funding would help to create wet grassland for breeding waders and fen habitat to preserve and expand the biological wonders of Leven Canal. Work began in the summer of 2014, with the excavation of ring ditches that would hydrologically isolate the site from the surrounding pump-drained arable land. Sluices were installed in order to easily manage water levels. Heavy machinery undertook the creation of scrapes that would fill with water. These would provide wet habitat for as long as possible each year to benefit wading birds. In some areas of Leven Cars, semi-natural vegetation had already established. In other areas, identified as suitable for habitat enhancement, work was needed to prepare the ground ready for a new species-rich seed source in this case, green hay. Green hay consists of seed-rich cuttings from wet meadows and fens. These cuttings are a traditional and necessary part of meadow management, and the application of green hay used a product that might have otherwise gone to waste. The project collected green hay from the Lower Derwent Valley National Nature Reserve in North Yorkshire, as there were not enough donor sites adjacent to Leven Cars. A variety of methods for spreading the green hay were trialled on site. Vegetation was also collected from Leven Canal itself, as part of routine management of the Triple SI to maintain open water. The cuttings were deployed within the ring ditches to help establish valuable plants such as yellow water lily and arrowhead. Fencing and cattle handling facilities were installed. Belted Galloway cattle would be a key tool for managing the wet grassland and fen. Cattle would create a tussocky sward, favoured by breeding waders, and graze vegetation to a low level on the fen to encourage a more diverse plant community. 
Well, the cattle can travel over wet ground so much better than heavy uh, tractor driven machinery. Uh, so the cattle can, can graze all this low lying wet ground without making too much mess. They've got big feet to travel, you know, to, to not make too much of an impression and they'll graze selectively as well, whereas mechanical methods will, will just take everything out. An additional obstacle was the felling of a large poplar plantation. It might seem counterintuitive to fell trees to benefit wildlife, but plantation habitat is generally low in biodiversity, and in this case was replaced by high value fen habitat. At the end of 2015, with the final sluices installed, water levels were raised, ready to save as much volume as possible for the following year in order to help the wetland flourish. All of which brings us to leaving cars in the present day. 130 hectares of wetland habitat has been created. To get a sense of scale, the area is equivalent to one and a half times the size of the walled city of York. A wide range of wetland species are already using the project area. Breeding birds present in the summer include lapwing and black-headed gull, while in autumn and winter, the site hosts hundreds of feeding snipe. You know, we've had species like otter using the site. We're seeing, we're seeing signs of that already. Um, other bird species, farmland bird species using the site in combination with other habitats on the farm, which is, which is brilliant. That feeds into the, the, the wider objectives that uh, Alban Wise have for a, you know, a really farmed environment, working well with some of the more semi-natural habitats. Valuable vegetation from Leven Canal has established itself in the ring ditches and species from the green hay donor sites are starting to appear in the fen. Although there is still some way to go, this is a living project, only part way into a 10 year stewardship agreement. Based on current results, however, the future promises to be remarkable. So I, I would say have a go um, and try because even though at times we made particular mistakes, we learnt from them and we were able to evolve our approach over time and that learning process has led to what you can see behind me. In conclusion, the initial aims of the project have been achieved. Biodiversity is benefiting and not only has land been put back into agricultural production, the surrounding fields remain unaffected by a wetland project only metres away. Finally, if you factor in possible indirect benefits from ecosystem services, leaving cars as a project with the potential to reward us all.